Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric. And like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. What's she gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? Decisive evidence. Yeah, right. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. The other blood type matched that of the defendant, Ms. Lana Sky. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. What? There was blood found on that shoe? Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention I have three boyfriends in forensics? In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. <laughs> not showing evidence without approval of police department. Yeah, no, I've never done something like that. Seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public could produce a fi can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. <clears throat> is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. You could at least study some evidence law, really. Yeah, I probably should have done that before becoming a defense attorney. The prosecution's complaints notwithstanding, it appears that this evidence satisf satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. A white enamel shoe, bearing the traces of blood from Goodman and Lana Sky. Hmm. A white shoe, you say? I may have mentioned I already have a problem with that. This photo is in black and white. And though colours will show up in a scale of one or the two colours, white will be white, black will be black. Her shoes were not white on the day of the murder. An important note about the blood on the shoe, it is on both top and bottom, Anyway, you can't say for sure the blood. De uh, th there was a blood test. Uh huh. Oh. Do I get the results of that blood test? No, I don't. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's a problem with the victim's shoe. I only got it from pressing, but not objecting. I'd say there is one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still so young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now, 
But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this evidence. Oh. I... Uh, no? What? Why am I... I... Bruh? Bruh. The problem with this evidence is its color, as opposed to the black and white photo. I... I'm going to admit that I am an absolute dumbass, and, uh... Obviously... Um... Just to show you my dumbassery... In case you didn't notice, that's the victim's shoe, not the suspect's shoe. I really went on a whole tirade about how the colour was wrong. I, uh, I blew the trial because I cut it out and had to replay to get to this point, but, um, yeah. That's the victim's shoe. The colour is not the problem, because it's from the victim, not the suspect. Now, the problem is, there are two types of blood. One is the victim's own blood, and one is Lana's. Now, here's the thing. The victim was stabbed in the chest. So surely, it'd make most sense for his blood to be on top of the shoe dripping off of him. But also, Lana's hand was cut. Could be dripping down from above. There is absolutely no reason for there to be blood on the bottom of the shoe. Regardless of whose it is. Presumably. Wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, Rookie, or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Hmm, indeed there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about the blood on the bottom of his shoe? Uh... There was no blood on the ground? The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint. Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Aha! Uh -huh. As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime, even though the text box completely covered that. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been plenty bloody footprints. There was no plenty in that sentence. Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Order, order, order. Well, witness? What? Huh? I... Great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of the uh, footprint is a contradiction, but then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. No. Oh. That's true, there has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? 
Especially when I read the the fact the shoe was the victims and not the suspects. I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. W what are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one, a leopard woman, rawr. I thought that was a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness, well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor, was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright? Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! You don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone to erase the bloodstains that would become evidence against her. What? That ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoe tie her quite clearly to this murder. Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty, erasing evidence. That reminds me, Ms. Skye's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she'd cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe? Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. M Mr. Wright, do something, please! What? What can I do? Your sister's confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. But... Enough. There is no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor? She cut her right hand. But... One of the things not argued in Lana's testimony... Oh... Angel's testimony was that she held the knife in her right hand. How do you cut the hand that is holding the handle? You can cut the opposite hand, but when your hand is on the handle, you don't accidentally cut it. That doesn't make sense. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Ms. Lana Sky. Oop, nice hold it. Little girl, what did you just say? Huh? Me? Did you just say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution's side? Well, y yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well... I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. W wait Witness, don't tell me you have something else. I wish she didn't have something else. The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt. Your threats don't scare the cough-up queen. Look at this. 
a photograph. I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. And only a dumbass would say it didn't belong to the killer because, you know, it, it didn't. No one was ever suggesting it did. <clears throat> I see no room for error in this evidence. M Mr. Wright, wait, look at the asphalt in this photo. It's clearly wet. Raising the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. But it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. I'm sorry, Mia. Right. Wet or not, don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Huh? Get yourself up off the asphalt. Asphalt. Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take a good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well, this time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. Uh, I have an objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, wait. What is it with your, you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it'll be too late. Look at this photograph. The last one submitted. The trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right? Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. Yeah, there's a problem. Uh, whatever it is. I suppose we've come this far. We should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in this photograph. Well, it's not the fact he was stabbed once in the chest. It's not even the fact his shoe was on the scene, or that the asphalt is, well, wet. As Ms. Sky was saying over the phone. Take, Take a look at the muffler, Your Honor. It's right here. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor? You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. A muffler is also a part on a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system. A pipe. I see. And I see! What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? <laughs> so what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sorry, Ms. Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth in the muffler is related to this case. Why, it's because of the phone call Ms. Star overheard. Recall her testimony. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Uh, yeah. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. 
<laughs> well, it seems we will have to suspend the proceedings. S suspend I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed. I suppose so. Ugh, that was close. But we made it. At least for now. This court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry? And with the trial of Lana Sky suspended for now, we will do our further investigation in the next episode. Bye.